Hello, I, like you, am marooned in my house because of the lockdown period of the current coronavirus outbreak. So I have been looking around my house for tasks to occupy my time. And today I've got a good one. I'm going to replace my toilet. And uh, I'd like you to accompany me on the journey. And uh, it's very simple, so let's get going. So, here it is, the toilet to be replaced. It's a fine model, given many years of valuable service, but today it is time for a shiny new one. So, we're going to locate the uh, water tap that's underneath the cistern of the uh, toilet, and we're going to go ahead and turn that off. Like so. Let's go ahead, just a few more turns here, and that should be off nice and tight. There we go. Now, with that tap turned off, when we flush the toilet, hopefully the tank will then not fill up again and we'll actually be able to drain the water out of the tank ready for removal. So let's go ahead and flush. Let's take a last look at the last flush this toilet is going to do. And there we go. Let's check the tank. Oh, there's a little bit in the bottom there, so what we need to do is just go ahead and pull that chain up, open the flapper, and drain as much water as we can. Let's go ahead. I think that's as much as we're going to get out. So there's only a little bit in the bottom there. So that's something we can deal with in a little while. Now, as you can see, there's still um, some water in the U-bend of the toilet. Obviously, that is going to stay there um, until we drain it. But I've actually found this amazing product. It's called Liquid Lock. And what it does is it turns the water in the bowl to jelly so it doesn't come splashing out when you actually remove the toilet. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. So here we go. So let's just go ahead and sprinkle that into the toilet water. There it goes. All right, there we are. I think that's everything. Now the instructions say to wait a minimum of four minutes for that to turn to jelly. So that's what we're going to go and do. And we'll get busy with some other tasks while that's doing its job. Alrighty then, while the jelly is working its magic, we're going to go ahead and locate the uh, locking bolts that actually hold the toilet to the ground so it doesn't move around when you sit on it. So what we've got to do is remove this little cap here, give it a little twist, just enough so I can get my screwdriver under there. Let's pop the cap off, there it is. And we're going to go ahead and undo this nut like so. Oh, it is quite loose to start with, so that's always good. Let's see how much hand we can go ahead. I think this is rust, this brown stuff, rather than anything uh, slightly worrying. So that's uh, that's why I've got my gloves on, so we don't want to uh, be dealing with anything underneath the toilet. Um, and what we're going to do is just take this one off. And what I'm going to go do is do the same thing on the other side of the toilet because there are two bolts holding the toilet down. All right, the next thing we want to do is locate our uh, our old friend, the tank tap, where we turn the water off so it wouldn't fill the tank. What we've got to do now, obviously, is uh, with the tap off, we have to disconnect the, the, the hose from the tap to the tank. And we're going to go ahead and do that with a spanner or a wrench, whichever one you prefer. Give it a bit of a twist, oh, there we go. And a couple of turns should get that free. All right, there we go. All right, so before we pull that off completely, we're going to uh, grab some uh, kitchen towel here, because obviously we don't want to use toilet roll right now because it is um, at a premium. Um, we're just going to put that there and see if we can, hopefully we don't have too much water coming out of there when we take the, the hose off. Look at that, none at all. All right, oh, there we go, a little bit. All right, so we'll just pop that up there like that. How about we just let it drain? There we go, we'll let that drain and we'll go on to the next thing. Now we've got to a, a very exciting part of the process, that's removal of the old toilet. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and prepared uh, a 
uh, substantial uh, trash bag or rubbish bag. This is one of the ones that you use for outdoor trash or leaves or sticks or whatever you're picking up from the garden. So it's it's a bit more hefty than the um, than the kitchen ones you have in your bin in the kitchen. So I'm just going to roll that up into a donut like so because we obviously want to plant the underside of the toilet into the bag so we don't have um, nasty stuff all over the floor. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's see how I get on with removing the toilet because it's a bit heavy. So let's see. All right. We have to try and lift straight up if we can. Oh, there we go. And we're going to come across. Oh, I might have to do this in stages here. Let's roll it up a little bit here. Pop that under there. And try not to break the shower door at the same time. Going to lift that in. Oh. And here we go. All right. That, I think, is okay for that stage. Uh, let's see what we have to do next. I forgot to show you that the, uh, the uh, water in the toilet had turned to jelly. I just wanted to go and check that for you. So there we go. Very jelly. That's what we want. So that's why it didn't splosh around all over the place when we move the toilet. So that's good. All right then. So here we are with the old toilet removed. And as you can see, the hole in the ground that people don't want to talk about for very good reason. As you can see, uh, needs a lot of cleaning up. This is, a, this is a wax ring. It's a ring made out of wax that seals the, the underside of the toilet to the uh, hole to the main sewer. Now, uh, in order to put a new one in, I've got actually something very special to show you later on. Uh, it's very exciting. But uh, we won't be doing another wax ring, so I've got to get rid of all that. So I'll, I'll go ahead and do that, and uh, I'll be back when that's all done. Oh, before I do, I'll just tell you how I'm going to do that, just so you understand. Um, here's a double-bagged uh, plastic grocery bag, or two grocery bags there. Uh, just a piece of wood to scrape away. Some uh, more kitchen towel, which we'll need and uh, some bleach spray just to clear everything up, make it all nice and uh, clean for the new ring. So I'll get on with that and I'll see you in a couple of minutes. All right then, well a couple of minutes later we've got rid of all the uh, nasty stuff and we'll put that, take that out in a little while and you can see that the, uh, the hole is nice and clean now. So let me uh, tell you what I was uh, going to uh, show you. Um, so we don't have to do another wax ring. This is called the green gasket, or gasket if you prefer. And what this is, is a, it's just a piece of rubber that fits snugly over the hole, so you don't have to deal with any wax. And what I've actually got here is the, um, is the attachment for the underside of the new toilet. And um, what I'm going to do is show you how that fits on. So that fits in there like that, gives a nice seal on the inside, line up the holes. And I'm going to reuse the, um, the bolts, or sorry, the yes, the bolts from the old toilet. And we'll see if we can line those up. And let's squeeze them in if we can. Let's put that in there one and Two is coming up, I hope. And where is two? There we go, there's two. So we snuggle that in like that. And there is the base for the new toilet, ready to be secured down and the new toilet put on top. So I'll do a little bit of work on this and then we'll uh, see each other in a couple more minutes. All right. Well, it's been a couple of minutes and uh, I have put the base of the toilet on, plumbed that in and added some more hardware as per the manufacturer's instructions. And so we have a good solid base and all that's left now to do is to pop the new toilet on there. Here is the new toilet and rather spiffy it is too. And now um, I have to try and get this toilet onto the base and line everything up. Um, I'm going to show you something underneath the toilet, which is what we've got to try and aim for. Let me just get this up here. Right All right. As you can see, that little hole there has got to go 
over the uh, base to try and meet up with the receptacle. So I'm going to try and get that done now. Let's see if we can get that on, shall we? to ease onto the little uh, receptacle there so I think we're ready to connect it all up to the floor again. Okay well base is securely fitted again to the floor through some very uh, very intricate cantilever things on the inside um, so all that hardware that I fitted to the base was made good use of but so you can't see the joins it's very clever actually. Uh, so now of course the next thing to do is to uh, put the tank on there <laughs> where all the water is going to be and flush into the toilet so I'm going to get that ready for you and then get that on the back of the toilet okay okay so not too much to do on the bottom of the toilet before I put it on there or the bottom of the tank just put on this uh, rubber ring here and two bolts which I'm now going to put on the back of the toilet itself and see if we can line those up all right here we go So, first bit done successfully. Let's see if I can put the bolts on here. All right. So that's one. And here comes number two. Number two bolt, that is. Uh, nuts, I mean. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see if I can get this on here. All right. All right, there's number two bolt, and so I will finish that up and we'll see you for the next uh, section in a moment. Okay, so there is the uh, tank all nicely connected, nice and solid there. I'm giving it a little bit of a shake. And now we're going to connect back the uh, water pipe from the supply to the tank. Now, um, I actually made a mistake earlier on. Some of you uh, more practiced plumbers and toilet installers probably saw that. Um, what I, I didn't need to disconnect this pipe um, earlier on because it's the same pipe that will connect to the new tank. So. Apologies if you were screaming at the screen saying you don't need to do that, but uh, unfortunately I did, but it's easily fixed with a spanner or wrench and then we can get some water flowing into the new tank and we can uh, both enjoy that sensation as we near the end of the project here. Let me just grab a spanner. All right, let's just tighten this up. Oh, no, this one's too big. Need the other one. There we are. Just pop that on there. Tighten it up. There we go. Nice and tight. All right. So with that done there, we just need to connect that part back up to the tank. Let's just get that on there. And as you can see, it is a universal joint. Everything is wonderfully uh, uniform and standard in size. So the old hose fits into the new tank. So what we're going to do now is turn the supply on and we'll watch the tank filling up. And there we go, on goes the water, and let's check the tank, see how that's doing. And there it is, filling up. Alright, so we'll give that a moment or two to fill up, 
and uh, we'll see you in a moment. Okay, back we are. The tank is now full. Now this particular tank doesn't have a flapper like the old type of tank and uh, what we'll do, we'll both uh, enjoy this first flush of the new toilet. If I just flick the flush handle here and we'll watch what it does. It's a central pipe that stretches the toilet like this. And there you are, the first flush of our new toilet. Tank is filling up again very nicely. Just check for leaks down here. All right, nothing there. And nice and tight there. And uh, I don't seem to be wading in an inch of water, so I'm, I'm hoping that the uh, seals underneath are holding true. And um, just one more thing to do before we can commission our new toilet and call it done. And that, of course, is the seat. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Well, the seat is attached and uh, it's a very special seat and I'm very excited about what it does now. That's very, very slowly, so there's no banging and no one catches their fingers. And there we are. The toilet, the new toilet has been installed and hopefully successfully. Uh, no leaks or bumps and no grinding noises, so that's good. So we have successfully completed our task. So what I want to do is thank you for accompanying me on this journey from old toilet to new. And uh, just to remind everyone to uh, stay safe and stay at home, practice social distancing, and remember that we're all in this together and we'll all get through it together. Uh, if you are, if you have people at home, give them a hug. If you're on your own, I'll try and give you a virtual hug if I can. There we go. Yeah, everything's going to be okay. Okay, so there's the virtual hug. But um, thank you for viewing, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you soon.